to the county ground in Swindon on this Boxing Day afternoon for this second division fixture between Swindon Town and Blackburn Rovers. It's a game which means a lot to both sides. They're currently on the playoff fringe. There is the Swindon Town mascot for the afternoon. He's Nicholas Ford from Deer Leap Way in Bashley. He attends the Ashley Junior School and his team is the Bashley Robins Football Club. His favourite team, of course, Swindon Town and his favourite player, Steve Foley. So it's a big day for him as he tries his luck against the Swindon Town keeper, Fraser Digby. And warming up with him is the Swindon substitute, John Cornwall. A nice ground shot there, but not quite good enough to beat the England under-21 keeper. There's uh, David Kerslake, Swindon's recent signing from Queen's Park Rangers. There's visitors at Blackburn Rovers take the field on this sunny Boxing Day afternoon. And uh, not a very big crowd, it has to be said, for the post-Christmas fixture, which uh, traditionally brings a large crowd to the County Grand to watch uh, Swindon Town in action. There's Alan McLaughlin, who's had a wonderful 1989. He'll obviously hope that 1990 will continue in much the same vein and possibly see him make an appearance in the World Cup Finals for the Republic of Ireland. We shall wait to see if that is what will happen. Fullback Paul Bowden, another player who's done remarkably well. There is a Republic of Ireland international. That's Frank Stapleton, who recently joined Blackburn Rovers. A glittering career, of course, with Manchester United and Arsenal. One of the great strikers of the 1970s and 1980s. And uh, he's bound to want to make an impression in this Boxing Day game between Swindon and Blackburn Rovers. And there's Scott Sellers, who many are talking about as an international player. Has wonderful skills on the left-hand side of the field as a winger and uh, provides much of the ammunition for the Blackburn Rovers strike force led by uh, Simon Garner, that very impressive number 10 for Blackburn this afternoon. This the ceremonies at the start of the game, the Blackburn Rovers mascot, his name is Sam Carter, he's nine years of age, he's from the Griffin Park School in Blackburn, his favourite player is Terry Gunno, and his hobbies are watching Rovers, computer games, reading and judo. So there we are, that's all about the respective uh, mascots for this afternoon's game between Swindon Town and Blackburn Rovers. The uh, photographs taken, customary photographs for the beginning of the game. As I'll give you the two sides. In goal for Swindon, Fraser Digby at two, it's David Kerslake. Three is Paul Bowden at four, Alan McLaughlin as the two mascots lead the field side by side. Number five, Colin Calderwood. Six is John Giddens. Seven, Tom Jones. Eight, Duncan Shearer. Nine is Steve White. Ten, Ross McLaren. 11, Steve Foley, and the substitutes John Cornwall and Dave Hockaday, who makes a return to the squad following a fractured cheekbone injury. Blackburn Rovers, they line up like this in goal, Darren Collier. Two is Neil Oliver. Three, Chris Sully. Four is Nicky Reed. Five, Keith Hill. Six is David Mayles. Seven, Alan D. Kennedy. Eight is John Miller. Nine, Frank Stapleton. Ten, Simon Garner. Eleven, Scott Sellers. And their substitutes, Howard Gale and Alan Irvine. The referee is Mr. D. Hutchinson from Oxford. And the linesman, Mr. R.J. Harris and Mr. D. Pike. That's the way the teams line up. And the action already underway. Swindon with a the throw then near side through Paul Bowden, who finds Steve White. Back to Bowden. And as you can see, the surface very wet. We've had uh, an awful lot of rain in Wiltshire before Christmas. And groundsman Jeff Warren has done a great job in getting the, the pitch into a match-worthy condition. Darren Collier, the keeper for Blackburn, he made his league debut in the final league match of last season at Portman Road against Ipswich Town. It's Blackburn Rovers then near side. And they have a throw in this opening minute of the match. There is Frank Stapleton, the man with the ball, but and he takes the throw. And the first decision by a linesman of the afternoon. And indeed it was, uh, I believe, for a foul throw. So Swindon's turn to... Uh, throw the ball into play, it's Paul Bowden, the town number three, who perhaps also will be looking for international honours in 1990, will surely attract the attention of Terry Yorath, the Welsh manager, very shortly. Swindon then through uh, Gittins, it's Tom Jones in midfield, that's a good ball, far side of the field, as Swindon look to come forward, through David Kerslake, cut out though by uh, John Miller, the ball is with McLaren, who finds Bowden near side, And already the pitch showing signs of cutting up. It'll be interesting to see what condition it's in at the end of this game. Swindon and Blackburn, great rivals in recent seasons in promotion uh, contention. 
And uh, there's never very much between the two sides when they meet. Blackburn came here two seasons ago and won two goals to one. Steve Archibald twice on target. And in that uh, Blackburn side that day, of course, town manager Ozzy Ardiles, who spent uh, a short spell on loan with the Lancashire side. Last season, it was a goalless draw between the two sides here in the runoff to the end of the season. Fraser Digby, this man here, always produces his best form against Blackburn Rovers. For some reason, it seems to be his favourite side. McLaren cuts that ball out. Good uh, work by the Sunna midfielder. Bodin does very well indeed against Frank Stapleton and finds Foley. Infield for McLaughlin. Quick layoff to McLaren. And here's Gittins and all the way back to Fraser Digby. Always a chance on Boxing Day, of course, for people to stretch their legs after the Christmas festivities and get out into the fresh air for a football match. Normally, huge attendances around the Football League grounds on Boxing Day, but uh, Swindon don't seem to have attracted much of a one here today. And uh, surprising, really, in mind of their recent results, which sees them seventh in the second division before this game. And uh, perhaps they would have expected a larger crowd that's turned up here today but uh, we shall see what sort of a game's on offer and that's a great ball from McLaren looking for Steve White and a combination of the pitch the keeper and the defender robs Steve White of a great early opportunity from a superb through ball from Ross McLaren the best opportunity then in the early four minutes of the game Steve White couldn't take it and it's still nil nil So it would have been a great opportunity for Steve White to have opened the scoring. And there's White again with the header. And Oliver Acolia, rather, in that Blackburn goal. Easily able to retrieve. It was David Mayo who got back and covered so well on that through ball. Curse Lake wins that in the air, finds Jones. John Miller trying to lay it off. It's all a bit tight over on that far side of the field. Here's Gittins. Back by McLaren. Two number 10s, Garner and McLaren. It's uh, McLaren who comes out on top for Swindon. Finding McLaughlin, far side. Down he goes under the challenge of Sully. Right in front of the Swindon town bench. Here's McLaren, but uh, referee not content that that free kick should uh, be taken from there. And indeed, some confusion between both sets of players, the linesman and the referee. And it all turns out, I think, as a Blackburn Rovers throw. And uh, even yet, we're not uh, still quite settled. It's uh, back a few yards, says referee. Stapleton then tries his uh, close control, which didn't quite work, but it's still Blackburn in possession through Neil Oliver. Long ball forward, but uh, only succeeds in finding touch. Throw to Swindon, which Bowden will take. Here's Shearer. Stapleton for Blackburn Rovers. And back by Kerslake to Fraser Digby. Seven minutes into the game, still await the first goal. The best early opportunity, a through ball from McLaren, which found White, but uh, couldn't quite take advantage of it due to A, the pitch, and B, the defensive work of David Mayle. And uh, indeed, the quick goalkeeping of Darren Collier, who was uh, quickly off his line to put off the ex-Bristol Rover striker. Long, deep clearance then from Collier into Swindon territory. Here's Kerslake. And he's foul, but does well, and that's a good advantage play by the referee. But Blackburn get the ball back in, it's Swindon Territy, and that's a, a loose ball from McLaughlin. And an offside flag comes up.
It was good work initially by David Kerslake. And here's Colin Calderwood to take the free kick. And that is the first corner of the match. We're in the eighth minute and it's to Swindon Town. And Neil Oliver, I dare say, will be none too pleased with his control on that particular situation. And perhaps that's why he's wearing a number two shirt and uh, not one further afield. It's Ross McLaren tries a long-range effort, but that's way off target and uh, way behind for a goal kick to the Rovers. Stapleton. Oh, well done there by the Blackburn Rovers uh, forward. And it was a good ball, far side of the field to Scott Sellers. He's faced by David Kerslake. Kerslake does well. Good piece of defensive work, waited his time, and intercepted the ball at just the right moment, and setting McLaughlin free with a good ball. Jones outside him, and that's a good sweeping move from Swindon, turning defence into attack. Jones cuts inside, tries a, a shooting little shot across the ground. But no problem for the Rovers keeper, had it sighted all the way. But Tom Jones not frightened to have a shot. Free kick, foul by Ross McLaren. Who has a little word with the referee, and indeed the referee wants to have a little word with Ross McLaren. Free kick to Blackburn Rovers then. So we're in the 10th minute of the match. To the edge of that box and away by Bowden. Kerslake slice screens across his own goal. He's Garner and that's the opening score. Simon Garner for Blackburn Rovers. It was a mistake by David Kerslake. Sliced the ball across the face of his own goal. And Simon Garner six yards out. Wanted no second opportunity. Swindon Town nil. Blackburn Rovers won. 10th minute of the match. Simon Garner, who got a hat-trick against Barnsley earlier in the season. Well, he's off the mark already in the 10th minute of the match. And uh, he, is, he really is one of the Football League's most lethal marksmen. And any opportunities like that inside a penalty area, he'll gladly accept. Swindon Town nil, Blackburn Rovers 1. And here's Garner once again. Played a long time for Blackburn Rovers, giving them great service. And always seems to do well against Swindon Town, and on that occasion, did exceptionally well. Great finish, and uh, David Kerslake, who did so well defensively earlier on, well, one of those moments I dare say he'll want to forget quite quickly. Here's Kerslake once again, and on this occasion, nothing wrong with that. Finds Fraser Digby. Tidy player, David Kerslake. Most uncharacteristic, that sort of an error. And it comes Fraser Digby to uh, do a little bit of defensive work of his own. There's the away fans who've made the journey down on this Boxing Day from Lancashire to Swindon. And uh, they feel it's pretty worthwhile at the moment. This side lead by a goal to nil from Simon Garner. Here's Tom Jones. Good ball into that Blackburn uh, penalty area. And in came Steve White onto the header from Shearer. But it was a good punch away from Collier. Tom Jones cross, Shearer's header. And Steve White, well, inches away from finding the net. It's Paul Bowden then with his throw for Swindon Town. Calderwood across to Gittins and back to Digby. Fraser Digby, who had to face three penalties in the town's last league match at West Bromwich Albion, saved one of them, another was missed, and the third was scored. 
Swindon won by two goals to one. All those penalties coming in a six-minute period in the second half. Quite exceptional circumstances, and it must be a Football League record. Throw by Bowden. Steve Foley. Coldwood. And nowhere to go for Swindon on that occasion. Closed down by the Blackburn Rovers attack. And it all ends up back with Digby once again. Blackburn have come close to promotion in the last two or three seasons and have always seen to miss out at the vital moment. Went out in the playoffs last year, the playoff final indeed, to uh, Crystal Palace, the side that knocked Swindon out of the playoffs. And they were very close indeed of winning promotion to Division One last time out and will expect to be up there once again this season. Although at the moment it looks like Sheffield United and Leeds are the uh, two teams that must be regarded as favourites for straightforward promotion. But of course we're only halfway through the season as things stand at present. And there's a long old way to go between now and May. Paul Bowden with the throw for Swindon. Finds McLaughlin. Back to Bowden. Good cross coming in. And indeed Swindon get the corner. Tom Jones with the flag kick, takes it short, gets it back from McLaughlin. It's Ross McLaren, a good position for him to try a shot, but it takes a slight deflection, which takes the sting off it. And uh, Collier, no problem at all in that Blackburn goal. Bowden's header, nice piece of defensive work from the town number three, finds Digby. Curse Lake into Gittins. And once again, Swindon's progress impeded by the presence of two or three Blackburn Rovers defenders. Foley's header forward. It's all a little bit tight for Swindon at the moment. McLaren finds Bowden near side. And they're forced back once again, which brings a round of boos from the Swindon Town fans. Quarter of an hour gone, it's still Blackburn one up through Simon Garner. Here's McLaughlin, perhaps he can drive forward. Shearer. And the referee gives a free kick, backing in by Duncan Shearer. Kerslake does well, skips past one challenge and rather stamped in on the second one and so Blackman get the free kick. sorts of instructions coming from the Blackburn uh, bench about what uh, should be done with this free kick. Be interesting to see its outcome. We're in the 17th minute. It's a backheader by uh, Foley, which puts his own defence in trouble. And indeed a free kick, quickly taken. And Swindon with a chance to break. McLaughlin looking for Jones far side, but it all broke down in midfield. And it's Collier to David Mayall. Cold word, good strong challenge from him in the air. Foley is beaten in midfield by two Blackburn Rovers players. Gittins. It's Kerslake, far side. 
Jones. It comes off Miller and Shearer lays it back to McLaughlin. Looking for the run of White. But not quite for the successful outcome that McLaughlin would have wanted. Foley clattering in from the back on Frank Stapleton. And the referee's whistle is the outcome to that particular one. Foley holds out his arms. But acknowledges the free kick. David Mayo will take this free kick for Blackburn. 19th minute of the game. It's into that Swindon area. And Calderwood goes up. And a penalty is given. Calderwood is holding Andy Kennedy. And referee Hutchinson is going to caution Ross McLaren for dissent over that particular decision. It appeared as though Colin Calderwood was holding Kennedy, and that's why referee Hutchinson immediately pointed to the spot. So Ross McLaren, and there we are, confirmed on the electronic scoreboard. It's a perfect chance now for Blackburn Rovers to get a two-goal cushion. And it's Andy Kennedy... The man who was impeded inside the box will take it. There we go. Andy Kennedy against Digby, and Kennedy wins. Although Fraser Digby, very unlucky there, got a touch to it. But it shot underneath his body and into the back of the net, and it's those Blackburn fans who are celebrating once again. In the 19th minute of play, it's Swindon nil, Blackburn 2. Kennedy's fourth of the season. He took that penalty well enough, although Fraser Digby can consider himself unlucky. He got his body to it, but it just wasn't enough to stop it from going over the line into the back of the net. So Colin Calderwood concedes Swindon's fourth penalty in two games. Must be uh, something of a club record, I would think. And that's a good ball forward, and that looked like handball but not given, is it? It was well outside the box. Paul Bowden is pointing to the penalty spot, but uh, it was well outside the penalty area. And 20 minutes, and Swindon uh, not really had the luck with penalties this season, just one so far. Although, I have to say, that was clearly outside the penalty area. It's Paul Bowden then, will swing this ball in from the left-hand side. Looking far post, away by the Blackburn defence. So, controversy at both ends of the field. A penalty given for a foul by Colin Calderwood. And when Swinnon thought they could have had a penalty for handball, it was just... A free kick. And it's Blackburn who still have this two goal cushion. Calderwood. Stapleton couldn't reach that ball, but to show you how wet that surface is by the skid marks on it. McLaren. Tries a sweeping ball, far side, but meat and drink to the Blackburn midfield. Here's Garner. Long ball upfield as uh, Miller is brought into play over on that left-hand side. That's it back from Sellers. Here's Kerslake. Tidy player, David Kerslake. Has Jones outside him. In field is Steve Foley. But uh, Jones elects to run and finds Bowden. Trying to get to the byline, taking on the fullback, and that will be a corner kick to Swindon Town. Neil Oliver in close attendance, watching that ball all the way. It's a corner kick then, taken by Tom Jones. Good punch away by Collier, good distance on it, comes to McLaren. Lost a high ball in, and up goes Collier again. 
And no problem at all for the young Blackburn keeper. Midway through the first half, it's Blackburn Rovers who lead by two goals to nil. Simon Garner and Andy Kennedy from the penalty spot. McLaren. Good ball by Anna McLaughlin for David Kerslake. That really was a fine ball through the fullback. And Swindon putting this pressure on the Blackburn goal. Steve White applauding the cross in. And Jones once again with a corner kick. Colder word with a head backwards, but uh, didn't fall kindly for Swindon, and it was away by the Blackburn defence. Kerslake's throw. Foley. And surrounded by Blackburn defenders, and in any case, it's a handball decision against the former Sheffield United midfielder, Steve Foley. Recently back in action after an ankle injury. Very influential in the town midfield. And uh, the Swindon management team of Ozzy Ardiles and Chick Bates delighted to see him back. Swell one in the air by uh, Steve uh, McLaughlin, rather. Miller caught from behind but play on says the referee good decision here's Frank Stapleton near side looking up as all good strikers do and plays a lovely little through ball it's half blocked effort from Kennedy which goes down to Fraser Digby but a beautiful little ball through from Frank Stapleton bringing that situation to the fore long clearance from Digby looking for Steve White Plays a good square ball. Here's Jones. Jones again for Swindon, looking for the head of Shearer. It's all a bit tight and confined in that Blackburn defence. Here's Bowden. Bowden, a long-range effort, half deflected, and uh, really Swindon finding no way through at the moment. And Oliver quite happy just to put the ball into touch for a throw-in. Swindon roaring back then. Here's McLaren. Shearer's header. And appeals for handball again. But once again, referee Hutchinson from Oxford declines the appeals of the Swindon Town attack and fans. And it's just a clearance now for Collier. Neil Oliver with the throw for Blackburn, away by Bowden, back to Oliver. Stapleton, little ball inside, but it's all a bit tight there for Blackburn. It's uh, now with Foley, who finds McLaughlin and tries to switch the play far side. And Giddens, well, quite sure what he was kicking there. Well, it was uh, thin air or the Blackburn player, but it's back with Digby. Steve White. Foley, here's Shearer. Bowden taking on a Frank Stapleton and getting past him. Doing well, Bowden. Not Neil Oliver there once again. McLaughlin coming in behind him, and that ball will go into touch for a throw. So Swindon being raw forward by their fans here as they look to get a goal into that Blackburn net. They trail by two. It's a fair old deficit to uh, have against you early on at home. And the booze once again surround the counter ground as uh, the Swindon fans obviously thought that that should have been a town throw. However, it's for Blackburn Rovers. Oliver with the throw. Frank Stapleton with the header. Bowden, a little toe in as uh, 
away by Gittins. Here's Shearer. McLaren. Good tackle by Tom Jones. And that's a corner kick to Swindon. Must have taken a deflection off the Blackburn uh, player. And it was good solid midfield work by Tom Jones which brought about that corner kick. Shot from Kerslake blocked. Jones doing well, far side. Crossing near post two and uh, putting that Blackburn defence under pressure, Tom Jones, with a succession of raids either along the ground or in the air. And here's another one from a corner kick. Headed backwards by McLaughlin, away by the Blackburn defence. Took a nasty bounce and McLaren took advantage of it. Didn't bounce kindly for the Blackburn defence and McLaren was onto it like a shot and his effort was just over the bar. So Swindon still two down, but certainly giving the impression that they're on the verge of breaking back into this game. Foul by McLaren, free kick to Blackburn. McLaren finds Foley. Oliver lays the ball far side, but it's with Gittins. And back to Digby. Comes Bowden then, roaring forward for Swindon. McLaren. And foot up against Ross McLaren and the referee immediately spots that. Oh, well, aft indirect free kick to Blackburn Rovers as we approach the half hour mark. Still they lead by two goals to nil. Simon Garner following a David Kerslake mistake and Andy Kennedy from the penalty spot following a foul by Colin Calderwood, the town captain. Gittins wins that in the air, but Blackburn still get possession. Gittins once again completes the clearance. Swung into that uh, Swindon area. Garner, a little chest down. McLaren tidying up back to Digby. And a decision's not going Swindon's way at present. Blackburn's defence impeded by the Swindon Town strike force there at that particular occasion of Steve White. Darren Collier's clearance and for the Rovers. They still lead by two goals to nil. Bowden looking for Shearer. Bowden once again. Uh, it's not, not going to go out, is it? And uh, Shearer gets a deflection onto that and it's into the back of the net. Well, an amazing goal. Shearer's 15th of the season, although the linesman has his flag up for some reason. And I believe it was for Steve White being in an offside position. And what's the referee going to do? It was Neil Oliver who waited and waited and waited for that ball to go out. It didn't. He tried to clear it. It was blocked by Shearer. And the goal is given. So, an amazing goal from Duncan Shearer. Oliver's clearance back to his keeper, struck Shearer and looped over the top of Collier's head and into the back of the net. Incredible goal. And uh, the linesman had his flag up for Steve White, who was in an offside position, but surely could not have been interfering with play as Collier had one thing on his mind, and that was to look at the ball as it looped over his head 
and into the back of the net. Duncan Shearer's 15th of the season and the town are back in contention. Swindon Town 1, Blackburn Rovers 2. Well, that goal is bound to be talked about long and hard now. It was one of those that you see very rarely. And really, you have to say that Oliver's clearance must have been very powerful to loop off Duncan Shearer like that and into the back of the net. Incredible goal. So, Swindon back in the game. And here's McLaughlin, little back heel, McLaren. Yes, perhaps they'll look to perhaps get back into this game even more before the half-time whistle, which is 13 minutes away. Shearer, beautiful little layoff to Paul Bowden. Sweeping ball, far side of the field for Kerslake. Good ball too to Alan McLaughlin and a corner kick. Here's Jones then with one of a succession of corners Swindon have had in this game. Kerslake back to Jones again. Little ball in, what a great ball for Kerslake. Low into that Blackburn box. McLaren. Steve Foley. So Swindon with the centre blood in their nostrils now. Extraordinary goal from Duncan Shearer for his 15th of the season. Played by Calderwood. Off and a great shot from Miller, and he rattles that Swindon bar. Tremendous effort from John Miller. That really was a cracking good shot. And Fraser Digby was well beaten inside that Swindon goal, but John Miller desperately unlucky to see the woodwork come to Swindon's rescue. It's with Kerslake, far side. We've had three goals already. We could well have had a fourth on that particular occasion. What a cracking game this is now as Blackburn strikes through Simon Garner and a good save from Digby. Blackburn coming close within the space of seconds. And there's the linesman that gave the offside decision against Steve White only to be overruled by referee Hutchinson. And uh, Duncan Shearer's goal stood. It's 2-1 to Blackburn Rovers. Goes Fraser Digby, good punch. Blackman still in possession, far side through Sellers. Great challenge. Great piece of work by Tom Jones. Here's Shearer. Jones again. Foley, beaten in the air though by Nicky Reid, but it's McLaughlin for Swindon. McLaughlin's cross, Shearer's header. And he was only just inches away from diverting McLaughlin's cross into the back of a net. Well, I don't think anybody in the crowd here today can complain about any of the entertainment they've had so far. Cracking match. And uh, both sides have had chances. Garner tried to blast the ball forward, but it's off Giddens. Throw to Blackman, far side. Sellers, little layoff. It's a little bit tight in midfield though, and they can see possession to Ross McLaren. Long ball forward, looking for the run of Steve White, and that combination very nearly brought success in only the fourth minute. It seems an awful long time ago now. As we are just nine minutes away from the half-time whistle. Giddens header. Garner. Well, <laughs> not quite sure whether he tried to fool Gittins or what on that occasion, but uh, I think he just stood on the ball quite honestly. It's with Fraser Digby, the townkeeper. Shearer beaten by the flight of that ball.
Duncan Shearer, who, when he first joined the club from Huddersfield, had a very bad spell of it. And indeed this season didn't really find the back of the net with the regularity that he should, although he's got 15 already. A very popular player with the crowd here, Duncan Shearer. And uh, at £250,000, beginning to find the net as much as he would like, I would dare say. And that's a great ball from Ross McLaren, finding Bowden. Drives forward. And that's a good cross too, looking away at the far post. And away for what looked like a corner kick. Although the referee has given a free kick. And Shearer was none too pleased with that particular decision. Well, this uh, period of treatment here gives a chance for both sets of players to draw breath after what's been a frantic game of football. And that's how we stand. Seven minutes from half-time. Gittins safely back to Fraser Digby. Kerslake. Kerslake and... Uh, well, unlucky there, it struck him at quite a force and uh, his control wasn't that superb, but he could stop the ball and I dare say many footballers would have had an awful lot of trouble with the same thing. Ball is in touch once again, although that's uh, a free kick for a foul on Tom Jones, although the referee's given a throw, so his signal's not too easy to decipher at the moment. It's Kerslake's throw. Kerslake once again finds McLaren. He does uh, do very well, those balls that switches the play, and it's Bowden's cross. Here's a chance for Jones to pull it back. Looking for the head of Duncan Shearer. That's a beautiful header. What a fine goal from Duncan Shearer. From the moment it left his head, it was in the back of the net. Really was an excellent header from Duncan Shearer from a great cross from Tom Jones. His 16th of the season, and it completes an amazing comeback by Swindon. Two goals down after 20 minutes. Duncan Shearer has struck twice. Swindon Town 2, Blackburn Rovers 2, five minutes to half-time. Shearer, not much power in the header, just total direction. It looped up, beat the keeper, and found the side netting. Tremendous header. And what a great cross from Tom Jones. So Blackburn, who were comfortably in front, suddenly find themselves on the rack a touch. And it'll be Calderwood to take this, a free kick for Swindon. And uh, Steve White appeared to be held on the edge of the box. So it's a free kick in a dangerous position. Paul Bowden and Ross McLaren can both strike them from distance for the town and it'll be interesting to see which one takes this particular effort. They're both there in close attendance, so is Tom Jones and Steve Foley. So we wait for the Blackburn Moor to retreat the 10 yards. It'll be Tom Jones, a short free kick by the looks of things. Paul Bowden is uh, waiting to unleash a shot. Oh my goodness, he unleashed one, didn't he? What a tremendous goal. Collier totally beaten. Two goals in a minute from Swindon Town. And they totally changed this game around. Three and a half minutes to go to half-time. Bowden's third of the season. Swindon's third of the afternoon. And after trailing 2-0 at one stage, they now lead. Swindon Town three. Blackburn Rovers 2, tremendous free kick. And a player who's grown in stature over the last few months, Paul Bowden, really does look 
a bargain at £25,000. That's what previous manager Lou Macari paid for him from Newport County. And he really has matured into an excellent second division fullback. And has struck one of the best shots that you will see all season. And Swindon come looking for another one. Here's Steve White. Couldn't quite uh, catch that particular ball. And it'll be a throw to Blackburn Rovers. Stapleton heads on. Only as far as Ross McLaren. Gets a good ball into the box. And Blackburn a little bit hurried in their defensive work. Sellers. And it's a bit too tight for one twos, perhaps in midfield as McLaren snaps at everybody's heels. And indeed gets a free kick. And cries of going up, go around the county ground here. Long way to go. This is exactly halfway through the season for Swindon Town. But they're in a healthy position in the league and three points this afternoon. Well, it looks as though they'd be on the end of a hiding at one stage. Would really give them a boost. McLaren to Bowden. He's finding space to get these crosses in. And it's a good one too. Looking far post. Here's Jones again. And appeals again for a penalty kick. As referee Hutchinson brings to an end a quite extraordinary first half. Swindon Town going two goals down in just 20 minutes. The first from Simon Garner after a defensive mistake by David Kerslake. The second from an Andy Kennedy penalty. But Swindon came storming back. Duncan Shearer is 15th and 16th of the season. And Paul Bowden just a few moments before half-time, getting his third of the season and Swindon's third of the afternoon. Extraordinary 45 minutes. It's bound to be an extraordinary second 45 minutes. The half-time situation on this Boxing Day afternoon. Tremendous festive entertainment for the Swindon public. Swindon Town 3, Blackburn Rovers 2. Well, welcome back after the half-time refreshment and... Uh, <laughs> Well, what a, a difference 10 minutes can make because uh, before half-time it was as clear as a bell here at the county ground in Swindon. Well, the mist has come swirling in and things are going to get a little bit tricky, I think, in the second half. Swindon lead by three goals to two. As Blackburn get us underway for the second 45 minutes. But just look at that. That's the way things have deteriorated in less than 10 minutes. Oh, quite extraordinary, really. This game has many of the... Uh, Ingredients, I think, for Christmas pantomime, the way things are going. Two goals down, Swindon Town early on, 3-2 up at half-time. And now the fog. Brings to mind in a, a couple of uh, years ago, Swindon were leading 3-0 against Bradford City here, only for that game to be abandoned due to the fog. We shall see how bad the mist gets in this second half. Soon, and of course, the way things are going at the moment will definitely not want this game to be abandoned. It's with Scott Sellers near side for Blackburn. Down he goes under the challenge from Kerslake, and Swindon have a goal kick. Fraser Digby, the townkeeper. Sellers once again for Blackburn. Forward by Chris Sully, but uh, straight through to Fraser Digby. The ball skidding off rather unkindly there for Digby. Had to uh, keep his eye on it. One thing I would think he's going to find increasingly difficult to do throughout this second half, but that's a great ball from Steve White to Tom Jones. Won that well in the air, did Steve White. Has Kerslake outside him. McLaren looking far side. The best of balls. Bowden played into trouble. Neil Oliver and Bowden over on the far side, but Bowden's cross is a good one. And out comes Collier. And that's a tremendous shot, and what a brilliant save 
from Fraser Digby. That really was a cracking save. And it was Garner's effort. First time shot. Giddens deceived in the air. And Fraser Digby, who always produces his best against Blackburn Rovers, certainly did on that occasion. So as the miss descends. Three minutes into the second half, it's still a 3-2 lead for Swindon Town. Corner kick, far side. Way by Bowden. It's Bowden once again for Swindon over on that far side of the field, which I think is going to become more and more difficult to see at the course of the second half. Another corner to Blackburn. As it really does get thicker and thicker by the moment, doesn't it? It's uh, quite extraordinary, this fog. It's a low cross this time, away again by Bowden. Here's Shearer, good ball. Uh, didn't find Jones, but it found the run of Steve White. But it breaks down as it goes back to Collier in that Blackburn goal. Here's Jones, who's had an outstanding game for Swindon this afternoon. Taking on Miller. Finds Kerslake. Cross away by the Blackman defence, but uh, still not completely away. But they do try to uh, build their attacks from the back. It's gone, a little layoff. Coldwood's clearance. Miller once again for Blackburn. It's a good ball too, far side for Stapleton who tries a shot and Digby's there once again. And Garner holds his arms up as if to say, look, I was over here if you'd wanted to cross. Breaking for Blackburn in midfield and uh, Swindon able to mop up with a little problem. Calderwood. Six minutes into the second half and uh, not uh, the signs that we're going to be peppered in the second half of the goals that we were in the first. 3-2, swing and lead after being two down. Tremendous fight back. Aided by one of the strangest goals you could ever wish to see, that looping clearance from Neil Oliver, which uh, caught the boot of Duncan Shearer. Foley. Finds Jones, but he's beaten by Scott Sellers. Here's a chance for him to run. Good ball by Ross McLaren to Kerslake. Lovely little square layoff. And it gave Kerslake the chance to run at that Blackburn defence. But down he goes. Here is Kerslake once again. Back to Jones. Kittins. McLaughlin, chance for Foley perhaps to hit it, well he thought about it but uh, a free kick's been given and uh, here's Bowden walking up again perhaps uh, Blackburn will be a little wiser this time Bowden who hit that superb shot just before half time to put Swinnon in front and, and indeed they've closed him down this time so Blackburn have learnt their lesson, it's Foley. And 
Bowden puts the ball into touch. Throw to Blackburn Rovers, who did well on that free kick. They certainly took note of what uh, Bowden had achieved in the first half. And it was just a, a little closing down by Scott Sellers prevented him doing the same. It's good ball too, and that's a brilliant save again by Fraser Digby from Garner. And poor Simon Garner really doesn't have any any of the luck because he's meeting a keeper at the top of his game. That's Fraser Digby, who's pulled off two brilliant saves. Kerslake, while well, he tried to uh, nutmeg his opponent on that occasion, didn't work as Blackburn have possession once again. Long crossfield ball. Looking for Kennedy. Gets the ball in, away by Calderwood this time. And down goes Digby once again on his six-yard line. And it's uh, Blackburn Rovers versus Fraser Digby at this moment in time. Tom Jones. Steve White, but uh, did he keep it in? No, he didn't. the official attendance 8,426 which is very disappointing for a Boxing Day afternoon uh, when the game kicked off it was uh, a dry pleasant day but uh, Swindon 7th in the Barclays League 2nd Division obviously not uh, imposing the chances of promotion on the Swindon public at this moment in time but it's with Paul Bowden who played the ball down the line and into touch Don't forget that you can keep in touch with Swindon Town Affairs by dealing, dialing Swindon Town Club Call 0898 12 16 40. 24 hour a day coverage of Swindon Town matters on that number. 0898 12 16 40. Here's Ross McLaren. Shearer layoff finds McLaughlin far side. As the gloom gets worse and worse and he looks for Jones with a volley. And it was a good effort on the volley first time. And worth an effort from that distance but succeeded only in finding the Stratton Bank. Bowden. That's Foley, I think, outside him. It's Bowden once again. Stapleton, nice layoff. Sellers for Blackburn Rovers. Good work by him, finds Kennedy far side and he releases Sellers with a good ball. Nice one too between those two and out comes Digby, took a nasty skip off the pitch and off his chest he clears it but Swinning getting themselves in a little bit of a tangle there and Digby under pressure from Garner did well. Thankfully, the ball comes near side now to David Kerslake. Oh, and a mistake by Blackburn, Steve White, and it's Collier's turn to shine in the Blackburn goal. It was a good save. The ball broke kindly for Steve White, but Collier came out very nicely indeed to block. Digby's clearance over the halfway line and uh, deep into Blackburn Rovers territory. Shearer for Steve White, who's well tackled there by the Blackburn Rovers defence. McLaren. Calderwood plays it far side as Bowden puts the ball into touch, throw to Blackburn Rovers. Goodness only knows who's taking that one. I can only assume it's one of the fullbacks. 
probably Neil Oliver. Curs Lake. Finds McLaren. Here's Bowden. Does well, gets past one challenge, but uh, Miller is there in midfield for Blackburn Rovers. And somewhere in there is uh, Darren Collier in that Blackburn goal. Well, the Blackburn fans beginning to uh, chant off, off, off. Shearer with a little header backwards. Great knock on for uh, Tom Jones if he can get it. And indeed he did, but uh, could only give possession to Blackburn Rovers. Oh, that's a bad ball away, and Jones very nearly intercepted. Coe's like with a header. Here's Jones. Bowden. Here's Ross McLaren for Swindon. Kerslake tries to get that ball into uh, the Blackburn Rovers area and McLaren is pushed away it's a goal kick though to Blackburn an hour gone in the game Swindon lead by three goals to two Here's Jones. And uh, trying to find the run of Steve White and does well. White has Kerslake behind him. As Foley tries to get into that Blackburn area, he's uh, pursued by two Blackburn defenders. And White is in an offside position. Coldwood does well in the air and uh, finds Jones, but it's a, a good challenge by Chris Sully, but Blackburn will have to defend again as the ball comes swinging over near side, thank goodness, and we can identify who's going to take this throw in with a bit of luck. And it is Sully, the Blackburn Rovers number three. Kennedy taking on Gittins, Gittins concedes the throw. Sully with a throw for Blackburn and he gets it back a chance to swing it into that uh, Swindon area or to the far post and it's Alan McLaughlin now for Swindon Town a good ball near side now for Tom Jones as Jones enters that Blackburn half he's faced by a Rovers defender his identity remains a mystery as he crosses in and uh, away by Rovers defence but uh, Kerslake's shot was rather sliced it's a chance for McLaren back to Jones and he's felled by two Blackburn defenders but no free kick says referee Hutchinson on that occasion a free kick was awarded for a foul by Gittins Andy Kennedy was the man impeded. Yeah. 
gets on his throw. Keith Hill bumps that ball into Swindon, uh, Swindon's penalty area, away by Calderwood. McLaughlin, layoff for Tom Jones. Steve White. Jones near side. Plays the ball for Ross McLaren, who sweeps it into the dark and distant mists. And I believe gives a throw to Blackburn Rovers. And the Rovers are going to make a substitution here. The very dangerous Howard Gale is going to take the field, I do believe, and John Miller is going to go off. And Howard Gale, confirmation over the Tannoy system that the former Liverpool player is now on the field for Blackburn Rovers. John Miller, who rattled the Swindon bar earlier on, you will recall, he's the man who's been replaced. Quite what else is uh, going on over on that far side is anybody's guess. Kerslake. There's McLaren, a little touch forward, but it wasn't uh, sufficient to find Tom Jones. Blackburn pick it up in midfield. Sellers tries to come forward for Blackburn. There's danger here for Swindon as they uh, must clear from a Blackburn raid and do so. And an offside flag, Swindon uh, push forward, the back four do well on that occasion. Although Andy Kennedy not too pleased by the linesman decision. And uh, I don't think that was many Christmas greetings he was exchanging on that particular occasion. For the linesman with the yellow trim, Mr D Pike. Great ball forward from Ross McLaren, looking for the run of Tom Jones, or is it Steve White? And Kerslake safely gets it back to Fraser Digby in that town goal. Digby then, who's had to face four penalties in two games. Conceded two, save one, and one was missed. Gittins. John Gittins, who scored an own goal against Sheffield United in Swindon's previous game here, when Sheffield United won by two goals to nil. That result put them back to the top of Division 2, but since then they've been deposed by Leeds United. And strangely enough, here we are on Boxing Day, and those two sides meet at Bramall Lane today. Fraser Digby conceding two goals against Sheffield United. That is hometown club, of course. Played for Sheffield Schoolboys. Therefore joining Manchester United and then on to Swindon Town. Midway through the second half, Swindon still lead by three goals to two.
The ball emerges from the uh, gloom of the far side as Kerslake tries to get it, but he can't do so. Probably couldn't see it to the last minute. It's a throw taken by Scott Sellers. Finds Chris Sully. That's a great little lay on, but uh, once again, the offside flag comes up. And once again, Andy Kennedy has a few unkind thoughts about the linesman. Is McLaren. It's well taken by Jones, or was it Kerslake? And uh, Kerslake appears to have been rather harshly dealt with. Not occasion by Scott Sellers, and the referee from Oxford, Mr Hutchinson, believes that was also the case. And Swindon have a free kick in a dangerous position, bearing in mind the quality of Tom Jones' cross this afternoon. One of them led to the second goal, a looping header from Duncan Shearer. Well, it's been a feature of Swindon's play this season, the crossing from either left or right-hand side of the field. And that's one particular aspect that manager Ozzy Ardiles is well pleased with. But this time, it's a low one in from Jones. Back to Kerslake, who crosses into the far post. And quite what happens to it from then on is anybody's guess. Somewhere in there is uh, Darren Collier, the Blackburn Rovers keeper. The referee is doing a remarkable job at keeping this game going, really. He must be able to see both linesmen, of course, throughout the course of a game, and he obviously feels that uh, he's quite able to do so and it often appears worse looking from above the game than it does at pitch level. Keith Hill with this free kick for Blackburn Rovers. It's a long ball forward from McLaren's header looking for Duncan Shearer. But on that occasion, no problem at all for David Mayo. Here's Chris Solly then for Blackburn. Sellers. Twenty minutes of the match remaining. Sun and still 3-2 in the front. That storming fight back in the first half. They were two goals down in 20 minutes. But came back two from Duncan Shearer, his 15th and 16th of the season. And Paul Bowden, his third. Throw taken by Kerslake. Goes like handball. Sellers then with his free kick has Chris Sully just inside him and in fact leaves it for the Blackburn number three. Swings the ball in. Swimming's defence trying to get that ball away. It's blocked by Giddens who goes down. Jones and does well does Tom Jones clears the Swindon lines and finds White White back to Jones beats Howard Gale but Sully intercepts the ball through his Sellers and a chance for Garner to cross in it's a good ball too looking back and there's Howard Gale the Blackburn Rovers substitute comes up trumps and puts the Lancashire side level. The wall was played in from Simon Garner. It was headed back at the far post. And there was Howard Gale to knock the ball into the back of the net. And what a fine substitution by manager Don Mackay because it brings Blackburn level. Swindon Town 3, Blackburn Rovers 3. So Howard Gale, once of Liverpool, a promising player when he was at Anfield, but now 
at Blackburn Rovers. And what a fine substitution it's been. He's uh, brought the Lancashire side back into the game. And I believe it was Sellers at the far post who uh, knocked the ball back in. But obviously, in the conditions out there, it's uh, not quite easy to tell. And in fact, for all I know, it might have been the policeman behind the goal. It's now with uh, the Blackburn defence and back to Darren Collier. Gittins with a header, but Blackburn have possession. Once again, it was Simon Garner with a header, which uh, cleared the town bar. Ross McLaren. Long ball forward. And here's Tom Jones. Chance to uh, put another of those crosses in and does so. Ball loops up into the air. What a great ball too, on the break. And here's a chance for Sellers to run at that Swindon defence. And a great piece of defensive work by John Gittins. Of the half-hour mark in this second half, it's 3-3. Scott Sellers with this uh, corner kick for Blackburn Rovers. Sonny's crossing and out comes Fraser Digby does well under pressure and indeed the referee blows for a free kick but he did well the town keeper. Coldwood, a long clearance. Putting Blackburn under pressure, but they're able to deal with that one. And uh, it's with McLaren. As Blackburn have Neil Oliver far side. And uh, well dealt with by Fraser Digby. And ball against Chris Sully, free kick to Swindon, then just inside the Blackburn half. Here's Jones once again, or try a shot, it's half blocked. Kerslake. Well, says the referee, does well, does Kerslake. Good ball into the box too, it's looping up into the air, could go anywhere here. Comes to Foley, Foley hits it, and that's the third, fourth goal for Swindon this afternoon. Steve Foley latches onto the ball through the gloom and the mist, and off the body of Collier, finds the back of the net. His first goal of the season, Steve Foley, since returning from injury. And what an important one it could be. It puts Swindon back into the lead. And with just 14 minutes to go, it could be quite a successful first goal of the season for Steve Foley. Swindon 4-3 up then against their Lancashire rivals. Good work by David Kerslake down this right-hand side. And that's what he's been good at since his arrival from Queen's Park Rangers. It's 
Solly then for Rovers, pumps that ball into Swindon territory, it's a good ball too. As Digby will have to be alert, he's near post, it's away by Gittins. Here's Jones. Foley, nice little ball, finds Colin Calderwood. On to Steve White. And gets a free kick. Tom Jones. McLaughlin, edge of the box, brought down, free kick. Interesting to see whether referee Hutchinson adds on any extra time or injury time to this game, bearing in mind the weather conditions. Done remarkably well to keep the game going. And I believe Swindon are making a substitution. John Cornwall is going to come on. Or is it Blackburn are going to make a substitution? Difficult to tell, really. It's Frank Stapleton who's gone off. Irvine coming on. Is a far post free kick then for Jones. Floats it in. The referee rather getting involved on that particular occasion. Not to trying to get out of the way. As Blackburn half possession, far side. Ten minutes remaining, Swindon 4-3 up. A shot coming in again from that uh, Blackman strike force and uh, the arms go up for an appeal for something. But uh, what it is, well, answers on a postcard, please. It could be anything, couldn't it? Digby, just rolling out. To David Hockaday, who's uh, made his way onto the field. His first touch of the ball following a fractured cheekbone. McLaren. Good piece of play here by Scott Sellers. That's uh, two challenges he skipped past. See what he can do with it. And a uh, low ground shot. And Andy Kennedy had his arm aloft. the way things look the lights shining brightly throughout the gloom here not uh, aiding vision on the pitch really though but we are just nine minutes away now from the final whistle and if anything the mist has lifted just a fraction quite extraordinary the way it came down in the second half though it's a far post free kick which loops up and Fraser Digby does well once again to turn the ball over. What a great game he's had, Fraser Digby. Conceded three, but uh, none of them could be regarded as mistakes by him. And really, he's done his utmost to keep the score down. Corner kick then for Blackburn. There he is again. Inspiring game he's having this afternoon. And if Peter Shilton is eventually to relinquish the England goalkeeper's jersey, well, this man must be a prime candidate.
Rigby once again then. Ever present so far this season for Swindon Town and indeed has uh, not missed many in the way of injury during the course of his career. Although did break a finger once at uh, Crystal Palace which kept him out for a certain length of time. Hockaday. Solly and field for Frank Stapleton. Kerslake. Shearer. So in, in midfield, snapping away at the old heels there. McLaren bundled to the ground at free kick. And off goes David Kerslake to be replaced by John Cornwall. Cornwall with that blonde head of hair. He's not too uh, difficult to distinguish, even in this fog. Calderwood with the free kick. Jones. Cross shot, which was uh, difficult to discern between a shot and a pass, really, and it just succeeds in allowing Blackburn to come away with it down that far side of the field. Inside the last five minutes of the game, Swindon still leading 4 3. Steve Foley getting the fourth goal for the town, his first of the season. Two from Duncan Shearer and a cracking shot from Paul Bowden. And that's the way things stand. The goals for Blackburn Rovers are from Andy Kennedy from the penalty sub -opt. Simon Garner in the 10th minute and Howard Gale, the second half substitute for the Lancashire side. Leveling things up before Foley's strike. It's a corner then to Blackburn, eventually, <laughs> and hits into that swimming area now. Gittins gets half a header onto it, up goes Fraser Digby. It's blocked, and a chance for Swindon to break. Throwing far side of the field to Blackburn Rovers. Who I dare say will be a fraction annoyed at themselves after conceding a good position early on. Two goals in front. Three minutes left on the watch. And there is the referee, Mr Hutchinson from Oxford, who's done a splendid job second half in extraordinarily trying conditions. But he's worked well with his linesman. And although had the crowd on his back in the first half, I certainly, I think, got them on his side in the second. It's Sully then for Blackburn Rovers. Howard Gale, so I can't bring that one down. It's 
So they're looking from six points from their Christmas double at home against Blackburn today and Newcastle. In the next game, well, if things keep the way they are at the moment, then they've got three points in the bag. And that will put them in an extraordinarily healthy position. They currently lie seventh in the second division. And maybe a little gap will open up between them and the chasing clubs. Gittins. The referee looks at his watch. We're approaching the final whistle. And I dare say as soon as that 45-minute uh, mark is reached, then he'll bring this game to a conclusion. Checks with both linesmen, who uh, appear to be signalling that that mark has now been reached. One last chance, perhaps, for Blackburn to level things up. Low cross into that town box, away by Cornwall. And the referee brings proceedings to a halt. Swindon Town have taken the three points on offer on this Boxing Day afternoon. Two goals down, they went earlier on to Simon Garner and Andy Kennedy from the penalty spot, but a storming first-half revival saw them lead 3-2 at half-time, two from Duncan Shearer and one from Paul Bodin. Howard Gale, the second-half substitute for Blackburn, levelled things up. But Steve Foley, with his first goal of the season, brings the three points to the county ground after what has been... An absorbing second division fixture in the first half of the five goals and the football on offer in the second to see whether we'd actually see the climax of the match due to the fog. But uh, good entertainment for the 8,000 people here this afternoon to watch it. And Swindon Town do their promotion hopes a power of good by overcoming their rivals Blackburn Rovers here by four goals to three. This is Vic Morgan of BBC Wiltshire Sound saying, hope you've enjoyed the game and a Merry Christmas. Uh, the lads obviously try to, to look to put it back to the keeper and uh, as I said Steve White's blocked the keeper so there's only one way he could have came and that was inside you know and uh, I just wanted to get a block on the tackle to stop it and it's come off my foot with a bit of power and, and lift and uh, lucky for me it went in. Extraordinary first half I think you can say. Oh definitely yeah um, quite unbelievable because the goals were coming from everywhere we were 2-0 down before we knew it and we thought oh you know, maybe a bit too much to eat in the Christmas time. But <laughs> once we got into our stride and that, and as I say, we got a lucky break for the first goal, and then we got the equaliser, and then before we knew it, we were in front, and then uh, we came out in the second half, and, uh, well, you should have to see the pitch. I was going to say, it's pretty awful up top at uh, North Stand. Yeah. What was it like on the field? Uh, well, it was, you could always you, you yeah. could always see each keeper, which was, you know, from, from either side, which I think that's what uh, if he was looking at, you know, and fair play to him to let it go for as long as he could. I've seen him, he kept looking at his watch, but um, as I say, he's, he's done well for us. I was going to say, I thought the referee had an excellent game considering. Yeah, yeah, it was under, there was a lot of uh, if he butts decisions and that, like, you know, but I think on the whole he was he, he was more or less right with most of them, you know, so um, that's it. And Fraser Digby pulled off several excellent saves. Great for me, uh, man of the match today. Absolutely tremendous, some of the saves he pulled off today, like, you know, uh, and uh, very pleased. An extraordinary first half of that goal. Well, yeah, we uh, I thought we started off quite well, but we seem to I mean, uh, give them two two goals uh, on a plate. Uh, you obviously can't afford to give any side that, and uh, Blackburn attacking side, and as they proved, they scored a few goals today. What's the problem defensively in the first few minutes? Um, well, it's hard to put your finger on it. I mean, um, I headed a, what, uh, the first one out to the edge of the box. Dave Kersley tried to volley it away, just miscued it, went straight to Garner, and he volleyed it home. Um, Any complaints about the penalty? Well, yeah, fr uh, Fridge feels strongly that uh, it wasn't a penalty, and from to be honest, I didn't think it was a penalty. But I mean, the referee makes a decision, and he, you know, he sticks by it. So you got uh, the 4-3 victory, and in uh, pretty trying circumstances, I think it's fair to say. Yes, in the second half when we came out, we were surprised to see as much fog had uh, come down. And at one time, I thought it was going to be called off. To be honest, the referee kept consulting his linesman, but uh, luckily the game went ahead, and we we got the three points we really wanted. 
What was it like at pitch level? Um, it wasn't too well. It wasn't as bad as you know their fans were shouting, you know, off off. But uh, they're obviously going to do that when they're three-two down. But uh, you know, as I say, I'm glad that the game you know carried on and we've got three points. And it gives you a little cushion between you and the side who were below them. That was Blackburn Rovers. That's right. It puts us uh, four points ahead now. I think. So um, hopefully we go into Saturday's game now. You know, build on, get a bit of confidence, and uh, see if we can beat Newcastle.